so as the leader of uh, Church of the Messiah and the congregation and, and of course, all the work there, talk a little bit about what you see for its future. I mean, uh, you and I won't be around for another 150 years, uh, but you certainly be around in the next year and probably the next five or 10 or 20. Give us a sense of what, what you think is next uh, for, for Church of the Messiah. That is an excellent question. I must say I'm excited. Now, I've been a pastor for 22 years, and 22 years is a long time to do anything, especially any one thing. And that was not on my agenda. That was up to God, what he was telling me to do. Um, and it's been a privilege to be the pastor. But one of the things that I think I'm most hopeful for is the fact that we have a generation of young people who are amazing. I know a lot of times they get the short end of the stick, but they are amazing. They're doing incredible things. And I always say that young people don't reject God. They reject the package of church, that the uh, package that the church put God in. Um, and here, you know, we, we help them with their spirituality and activism. Those two things go together. They know that they're going to uh, be the ones who are going to do the work. We live by a scripture that says the kingdom of heaven is not mere words. It's a demonstration of power. We want to demonstrate that power. We don't want to commit spiritual malpractice by being able to say God is good, but there's no evidence of it. We want to show that evidence in our young people. Are, they are making it happen. They're working on the issue of gun violence. They're working on the issues of social justice, and they are doing amazing work. So the future is very bright for Church of the Messiah. Very bright. And when you... Uh... You think about the young people who are involved there. That's got to give you real hope about uh, not just the work you're doing, but the community that it's in. And that's always been my uh, impression about the relationship there. That that um, yes, the the work that the church is doing is really important, but it is building on what's already what's already there, and and it's it's overlooked and it's disrespected. Uh, you connect directly with it, though, and lift it up. Yeah, I think one of the things that people need to know, especially about Idleview, it is well organized. And it's not just Church of the Messiah in this community and neighborhood. I mean, you've got Field Street Block Club, you got St. Bonaventures, you got um, uh, Mac Development, you got uh, Charlevoix Village. There's so many groups, the Bog Center, there's so many groups and organizations um, in this community and neighborhood making it happen. It's not just us alone. And I like to compare Island View, if you want to get just a little bit religious with it, uh, with Jesus Christ. Here he is, the Son of God, but he didn't do the work by himself. He mm -hmm. went in God's will. Mm -hmm. So it's a team <laughs> effort. We're all supposed to collectively work together. And our biggest uh, advantage is we have the same mission. We want to empower our people with the best resources possible so that they can have the best quality of life that they can possibly have. That's what the mission is. That's what it's all about. Watch One Detroit, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.